Hello and welcome to another episode of Cart Mechanic Simulator 2021. In the last episode, well, I kind of kind of learned my way around this shop a little bit. I know there's still a lot I need to learn. I'm still fairly new at this game. This is the first Car Mechanic Simulator game I've played. I know there's been a few iterations out. Uh, this is the first one. This uh, and this this game looks amazing. I don't know why I haven't played it until now. Uh, but you know, let's uh, let's work on some cars, man. Let's see. We'll go over here to the phone. Let's see. We got oh, we got 12 seconds. Uh, uh, uh. Take order. Take order. <laughs> Oh, geez. Uh, I don't even know what we have to do to this thing. <laughs> We're going to have to figure it out in a minute. But first, let's 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 move this car into the garage. It's a little hard to work on until it's in here. Take a look. Brake system needs fixing. ABS module, brake caliper, brake disc, and brake pads. Is that it? Just the brakes? Just the brakes. I'm assuming it's the front brakes. I don't know. Let's lift this car up and see if we can find out. Could be the back brakes. Let's, uh, let's take it up a little bit more. That seems ex extra high. <laughs> may you know may have taken it up a little too high let's get this front front wheel off and we will see oh this caliper already looks really rusty let's take a look brake caliper 16% brake pads 29% Thinking this might be what we need to work on. But before we start taking that off, let's see if it if the other side needs anything as well. I don't know if it tells me it didn't see anywhere where it said what wheel it is. Let's see, these brake pads are well, they have a question mark. <laughs> they have a question mark. So it could be those. I mean, that caliper isn't rusty. So I'm assuming it's that one caliper, but oh, that brake rotor looks pretty bad. That looks pretty bad. Let's take this rim off. It may be this one. Man, that's not what I meant to click. Uh, this brake pad's at 23%, but this rotor is at 20. Caliper's at question mark. <laughs> so we'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, geez, like, I mean, those brake pads actually don't look that bad. But this rotor, this rotor looks pretty terrible. So we'll take that off. Let's uh let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this caliper. This caliper is looking rough. And these brake pads don't look that great either. Not too great. Let's go back into the car status. The ABS module. Now, where would that be on this particular car? Are they talking about the ABS under the hood? Like that guy? Oh, they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I'm wondering... 1%. 1%. Okay, so we need to lower this car down. We need to take off the hood, I think. Let's take a look at this. Terrible. I'm just... Uh, I don't think... Ooh, is is there going to be brake fluid in this? Um... 
That I don't know. Should I go ahead and drain the brake fluid out? Just to be extra sure? Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to make a mess. We can always add some brake fluid. Okay. Now, let's come back over here. Maybe. <laughs> let's come back over here. Well, it's not going to let me remove it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I mean, I know there's brake fluid in this block back here. I just don't know if it comes all the way into this ABS module. You know what? I added that to the shopping list. There may have been brake fluid in there. There may have been. Okay, well, let me pull up. The inventory. We obviously need an ABS module. We definitely need this brake caliper, this disc, and two sets of brake pads, I believe, is it. Because this one looked fine, and this one actually looked pretty okay. So let me hop on the computer, let me get some parts ordered, and I'll be right back. All right, so I think I've purchased all the parts, but while I was away, I was looking at the car status and it says three sets of brake pads. So I went ahead and ordered an extra set of brake pads just because I feel like either this one or this one probably needs to be replaced. So we'll check on that in a moment. But, oh, I need to find, I don't know where, I don't know where the ABS module is in the shop. So, let's see. It may be under electronics. There it is. I think that's it. Yep, that was it. Let's go ahead and buy that. And we'll go ahead and put the ABS module back on. And we definitely want to use the new <laughs> the new one. There we go. Okay. So, let's raise this car back up. And we will start back here. Let's mount our brake disc. Definitely not the 20 percenter. <laughs> we need to mount brake pads. Did we not order new brake pads? Hold on. Well, we're going to order them now. Brake pads. Three. Done. get brake pads on here. Definitely want the new ones. Get the caliper back on. Why do I have so many brake calipers? Is that what I ordered? <laughs> oh, all right. There we go. Mount the tire. Done. Like I said, I'm still learning this game, so you guys get to watch me fail. Lucky you. All right, let's get some brake pads on here. At least it wasn't a super expensive part <laughs> that I ordered way too many of. Guess they're getting new calipers uh, all the way around. Tire over here. And I do need to remember to put 
brake fluid back in the reservoir. So let's let's take this caliper off. Let's take a look at these brake pads. Cause it just had a big old question mark. I mean, these brake pads seem like they have 94% left, so that can't be right. That was probably the 78% brake caliper. So before I put the tire on, let's go check this back one. Oh, this back brake. Brake pads look rusty. It could be these. Let's get this caliper off. Nineteen percent. Pretty sure that's it. So let's go ahead and put some new brake pads back here. Sure, we'll use a ninety-five percent caliper. Now let's get this rim put back on. Perfect. Mount this rim. And who knows, I think I put an extra brand new caliper on this car. We'll probably get some sort of issue with that when we go to return it to the customer. They're probably not going to be too happy. I don't know. I don't know what the mechanics are if you screw up. So... We're going to have to figure that out. Can I not... Can I rotate my camera some... Apparently not. How am I supposed to know when this thing's full? This is not good. Uh, let's... Let's... All that full... Oh, well, I was pretty close. That was weird. It would not let me adjust. It would not let me adjust. So it looks like we've replaced everything. Let's get the hood back on here. How can a hood be at 70%? I do not know. I do not know. But I think we finished this order, so let's see what happens. Okay. We hit level two. That can't be all bad. Nobody said anything about me uh, putting extra new parts on there, so that's good. So, <laughs> yeah. I should have put their 89% brake caliper back on. Get rid of all the low-end broken stuff. And let's get back on our phone. We've got another one of the same thing. Or we've got... Sure. Let's take it. And let's get it moved into the garage. Take a look at the car status here. Refill brake fluid. Refill coolant and washer fluid. Other tasks. List provided. Okay. So that should be fairly simple. Start with the brake fluid. Get rid of the old. And let's add some new.
There we go. That is done. Next, it said a coolant. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. It looks fairly empty, but let's go ahead and drain out what's already in there. Because it looks old and dirty. And then let's fill it with some fresh. I don't see the fill line, though. Um, let's close that up. That is more than full. And then some washer fluid. I also don't see... Oh, I see a max fill line on the other side. A little bit more. There we go. And that's full. Was that all they wanted done? That was ridiculously easy. Car oh, I thought I put the hood back on. All right, well. Now we can complete this. Take that. That was fairly simple. Fairly simple. I know there's a lot more to do in this game than just work on customer cars. I know, or I'm pretty sure, I haven't watched any other people's videos or anything, but I'm pretty sure you can like buy old used cars or abandoned vehicles or something and actually fix them up and sell them. But I'm not sure. So if you guys know, leave me a comment. Tell me what to do. Tell me what needs to be done to actually make some money and do more than just like replace oil and car fluids in this game. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.